food webs show the flow of energy in an ecosystem. In other words, they show what eats what. Each food web contains lots of different food chains. In the ocean, most food chains have at least four levels. Let's dive in and take a closer look. Level 1. Plants and Cytoplankton Producers use energy from the sun to grow. This process is called photosynthesis. Along the coast, seaweed and seagrasses are important producers. Out in the ocean, cytoplankton, drifting plants, are the key producers. These tiny, one-celled organisms are mostly invisible to the human eye. Since they rely on sunlight for energy, they live near the ocean's surface. About 1% of all living things in the world are cytoplankton, and they produce about half of the world's oxygen. Level 2 – Herbivores and Omnivores When marine animals munch on seaweed or graze on cytoplankton, they receive energy. Since they have to consume food for energy, rather than getting energy directly from the sun, they are called consumers. Large herbivores, such as turtles, sea cows and sea urchins, enjoy a diet of mostly seaweed and seagrasses. The ocean is also full of tiny zooplankton, drifting animals like barnacles, mollusks, krill and jellyfish. They like to eat cytoplankton, bacteria and bits of dead plants and animals. Level 3 – Carnivores Unlike herbivores, which only eat plants, or omnivores, which eat both plants and animals, carnivores only eat other animals. The smallest carnivores, such as sardines, squid, octopuses and many species of fish, mostly eat zooplankton. Although they are skilled predators, they are also tasty prey for larger carnivores. Level 4 – Top Predators Top predators are also carnivores. They are bigger, faster and better at hunting than the other animals in their part of the ocean. This means they are rarely eaten except by humans. They have long lifespans and reproduce slowly. In the ocean, top predators include whales, dolphins, sharks, tuna fish, penguins, pelicans, seals, walruses, polar bears and sea lions.